Please use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. These are all of my social media accounts. Enjoy the video! Hi everyone, it's Aquila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some Bloxburg tips for new players. And with that being said, let's get started. I know the first thing that you probably want to do is delete your starter house if you started with the happy home of Robloxia. But I'm here to tell you, don't delete your starter house immediately. I know this house isn't much to look at. It's definitely very outdated and there are even some questionable design choices. Like why is the toilet paper on the opposite side of the toilet? But I mean you only have to use this house to keep your moods up because I'm pretty sure for the rest of the time you're gonna be at work because you're gonna want to make as much money as you can so you can build your dream house. There's actually a lot of job opportunities here in Bloxburg, but I'm pretty sure that most people would recommend that you start off as a delivery person over at Pizza Planet. This is definitely the top job if you're trying to make a lot of money fast. So the first thing you're going to want to do is walk inside, you can grab your pizza, and then we're going to jump on this moped over here. Then you follow the yellow arrow to the person that you're delivering the pizza to. You can either press E when you're close enough to them, or you can just click on them and then click give. It's a really easy job, it's super straightforward, and you can also get promoted really fast. And also while you're working, it's really fun to just listen to music or watch something like a YouTube video, a movie, or a TV show in the background because it makes the time go by a lot faster. Next thing you know, you've been working for like 30 minutes to an hour and you've made so much money. And another option is to just work with somebody that you know who also has Bloxburg. Once you've made enough money for a house, you can head back over to your plot and start building. It doesn't exactly have to be your dream house, but it's definitely an upgrade from the starter homes. You can also feel out like what kind of style you like if you want modern houses, farmhouses. It's really fun to experiment with different types of styles, and there's so many out there that I didn't even know about. So just take some time, have fun, there's no pressure. When it comes to building a house, if you feel like you can't do it on your own, you can obviously just go on YouTube and search for some Bloxburg house layouts. I definitely have a few of those videos on my channel, but you can search your budget. So if your budget is like 15K, you can say 15K Bloxburg starter house, no game pass, or if you have game passes, then you can do the ones with game passes. There are thousands of layout videos, so I'm sure you'll find the house for you. Try to avoid making your house just one big shape and there's no definition because it really doesn't look the best unless that's the style you're actually going for. But if you're gonna end up building something like this, you might as well have just stuck with the starter house. Try experimenting with different roofs, landscaping, coming up with color schemes that you like, having a variety of windows and doors. You can even take inspiration from houses that you've seen in person or even online. But this, it's really not cutting it anymore. I mean, come on, these aren't even windows. It's literally just the frames so people can just break in and just be all up in your house. This color scheme is a mess. The floor is horrendous. The lighting is way too bright and it's just a lot going on. But over here is something I worked on and you can even have like the stepping stones instead of just having the floor as a pathway. This definitely looks way more detailed. We have a tree out front and it's actually sitting on a pile of dirt so you know it adds a more realistic feel to it. We have a pattern of bushes and flowers. There's shutters on the windows which definitely look really cute. On the walls we have some wall trim and pillars. I feel like it gives your house a more expensive look to it and it's not so obvious that you're on a budget, you know what I mean? Because you can be on a budget, but everyone doesn't have to know you're on a budget. Even adding different fences can make your house just look more unique. And when you go inside, this is what it looks like. I made a little area with a few ideas on how you can decorate 
your house. You can always add some plants and different variety of plants too. Like we have this one that hangs down. There's a storage box on top of the shelf. So there are two versions of the shelf. So there's an empty version and then there's a version that already has like books on it and stuff, but you can't really color those. It's definitely up to you on what your style is, but these are just some ideas. There's a little heart sculpture the books you can rotate them keep that in mind you can rotate everything honestly there's a little tissue box and then paintings definitely add a nice touch to your house this one says stay close to people who feel like sunshine to get that one i just typed in quotes and then i just scrolled down a bit and it was there curtains are nice too especially if you have plain white walls and then down here we have the ottoman and there's just an open book because it just adds a little clutter like someone's actually living here and like you were in the middle of reading or something. As for the rest of the house, it's not just one big square. So if you want to use this layout for yourself, you definitely can. But if you use it for like social media, of course, just tag me or mention me and that's perfectly fine. But you can have a kitchen over here. And then this room could be the restroom and then this room could be the bedroom. There's so many ideas, so many opportunities when it comes to building in this game, but let's go ahead and hop into build mode so you guys can get a better look. So here is the layout of the house that I built. You can even extend this and make it bigger if you want a bigger bedroom or a bigger restroom. Remember, you also don't have to use the same exact color scheme Oh yeah, and when it comes to lighting, I use the color linen for my lights. A lot of you guys ask me that. Because again, if we go back into this atrocious house, the light is just way too bright. Also with the floor, it's just, it's just too much. I know it's also really easy to just start deleting things that you don't want anymore. But instead of deleting after placing something down... I would suggest just using the undo button. That way you get all of your money back instead of just some of it. A few other things when it comes to Bloxburg. Um, if you're role playing with someone, please don't be that person that's always running away from home, crying all the time, just doing things that are completely over dramatic because it can be quite annoying unless that's what everybody agreed on. Otherwise, it's just not fun for everyone. And if someone doesn't want to role play with you, just leave it at that. Don't beg people to role play with you. If someone's being rude to you, you can honestly leave and join a different server. You can block them from your plot. You don't have to tolerate anything. It's really not worth the arguments either. Same if someone's role playing how you don't want to role play. See if someone else wants to role play in the way that you prefer. Also, don't beg people for money. It's so easy to just go to work. And last but definitely not least, when it comes to game passes, I'm going to recommend my top three for if you're new to Bloxburg. You don't have to get these. If you want basements, go ahead and get basements first. But I feel like the best choices when you first join are excellent employee because you're definitely going to be working a lot. So the excellent employee game pass increases both your earnings and how often you get promoted and when you get promoted you make more money so i think that really just makes the most sense and then advanced placing because a lot of the houses that you probably want to build you're gonna need advanced placing and you can just add more decorations when you have advanced placing as well so just to make your builds look a lot more detailed i would highly recommend advanced placing it allows you to place objects without collision in build mode you can also scale items too which is pretty cool and then my third one would be multiple floors just in case you want a two-story house or a three-story or a four-story or a five-story because you can build up to five floors in Bloxburg if you have the multiple floors game pass and if you just weren't aware um what the other game passes were for premium you get your bills have, which is actually pretty amazing because Bloxburg bills can be very expensive. You get double daily rewards, a special name tag, increased donation limit, 
and the ability to choose your plot. But honestly, don't buy any Game Pass unless you know for sure you're going to be playing this game often. Because I can't tell you how many Game Passes I bought like in Adopt Me, and I don't even play Adopt Me. Like, it's ridiculous. The large plot game pass increases the size of your plots to 50 by 50, so you can build even bigger houses and builds. But I mean, you honestly don't need a plot that big to start off with. I mean, the plot size that you have originally is already 30 by 30, which is really good. But if you want a 50 by 50, then go ahead. And then the basement game pass. I mean, obviously, it just allows you to build basements. And the unlock stereo game pass is actually off sale because you can no longer play uh, copyrighted music in Roblox in general. So yeah, it's a wrap for that one. Well, I hope you guys found this video somewhat helpful. And if you're new to the Bloxburg community, then welcome. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong